Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, Euromold 2013, where 3D Systems is ushering in the era of 3D Printing 2.0. And what is 3D Printing 2.0? 3D Printing 2.0 is the migration to the next level in 3D printing. It's the mainstreaming of consumerism, and it's the decisive move to the manufacturing floor with large format, highly production, fab grade systems. And for 3D systems today, we are launching a dozen new products. Now, mind you, uh, throughout the first 11 months of this year, we launched about 12 products. And today and tomorrow and for the rest of this week, we are going to announce significant new products that touch at least five of our print engines and catapult them into the next paradigm of professional grade, high speed, extremely green and efficient uh, printers that can do incredible things to completely revolutionize the entire design to manufacturing process. And if that's not enough, we're going to show how we're going to democratize it and bring professional capabilities to the desktop, to the bench, and to completely reimagine the whole engineering environment with new scan to CAD tools uh, and a variety of digital threading tools and print drivers that completely transform the entire process. So let's begin here with uh, an incredible new machine. Uh, from the inventors of the SLA system. This is uh, very appropriate. 30 years after Chuck Hall invented the very first SLA machine, we bring you the baby uh, SLA. This is uh, a micro SLA machine. Uh, as you can see, it's smaller than the average coffee maker. And it actually prints very high detail, professional grade parts faster then it takes to bake a cake. So between a half an hour to an hour, you can print in this beautiful printer 12 dental wax ups, you can print five rings. Uh, and what is really unique about this incredible system is that it's a one step process with an all in cartridge and with a built in curing cell so that anything that comes out of the printer comes ready to go. It's safe to use anywhere, on your desktop, on your bench, in your dental lab, and it's ready to go. We're taking pre-orders today. It's priced very affordably at $4,900, and it's gonna ship the first quarter of next year. So I give you the revolutionary micro SLA project 1200. Next, I want to introduce to you something that I think is really groundbreaking in uh, 3D printing and in 3D printing that really gets the environment of the designer and engineer. Now, what happens when you can, for the first time, bring all of your ideas to life in very realistic, vibrant, full color and do it with the real plastic materials that you want to design for. That's at the heart of what the Project 4500, the first ever continuous full color plastic printer is doing. And the big deal here is that we can do it in full palette of Pantone-like colors. We can do it two to five times faster than any plastic printer that's on the market today. And it's a tremendous tool that opens completely new paradigms and possibilities for designers and engineers to design and hold in their hands real functional parts, plastic parts, in real color. The possibilities here haven't even been fully imagined and realized. This is a one-step printer that gives you ready-to-use parts without supports, without any post-processing that's required later directly out of the printer. It's ideal for an office and a lab environment. It's easy to operate, safe to use, 
and extremely affordable to own with parts that cost typically less than $10 per part. Think about it, less than $10 per part for fully functional, full color, plastic parts, and it's available right here today. Uh, and in our mind, this is a giant leap on the journey to 3D printing 2.0. So, if you're excited about the Project 1200 Micro SLA, which really democratizes access for professional output at your benchtop, uh, and you're absolutely thrilled about the Project 4500 that gives you completely new degrees of freedom in designing and realizing functional plastic parts in full color, then you're going to love the Project 5500X because this is the holy grail of 3D printing 2.0 as we see it because for the first time 3D Systems is putting to work its latest multi-jet printing technology and delivering a completely new professional grade 3D printer that gives you simultaneous mixing of materials into engineered composites that can basically give you instant and continuous variability of materials on the fly at speeds that are as high as twice any comparable printer out there and within a print envelope that is 60% larger than any printer on the market today with similar capabilities. And the amazing part is that you can really print the gamut. You can go from glass clear printing all the way to rubber printing. You can mix all of the material densities and durometers to go from hard plastic to rubber-like tires to completely functional vehicles here that were printed in one piece and come out of the printer in a way that's ready to use and ready to go. It is ideal for overmolding, it is ideal for multi-materials, it is ideal to create fully functional, ready to use assembl assemblies, and it, gov and it comes with 3D Systems signature, precision, and micro detail. All of the details that makes our other multi-jet printers best in breed because of the feature, because of the size, because of the true to CAD accuracy are now translated into the Project 5500X. So you get the multi-material composites, the engineered func functionality, the on-the-fly material mixing variability with the entire accuracy and feature detail that have become the hallmark of our entire project family. And it comes again, you know, in industrial strength with a five-year print head warranty, which is the only one in the industry that is being provided five years of warranty for the print head and that means that it's easy to use safe to operate and reliable to own with a vastly superior total cost of ownership so i give you the project 5500x the holy grail of 3d printing 2.0 Okay, uh, I'm here with uh, the architect and expert of uh, scan-based design, uh, Kevin Schofield, who's going to give us a quick demo and actually show us what it means to uh, have the power to instantly take existing complex geometries and fit them right back into CAD as part of a seamless design workflow. So Great. take it Great. away, Kevin. So one of the things that we're excited about is the opportunity to be able to let designers and metrology experts take a physical object, put it on their desk, and actually be able to acquire the shape in 3D quickly and easily. So the device you see here is the new capture scanner. And what it does is it takes scans in about uh, five to 10 seconds, does it very high accuracy, and it's extremely easy. And we've made the interface similar across all of our product lines to make it easy for our people to move back and forth from scan-based design to scan-based inspection. So if you want, I'll show you a quick demonstration of how it works. 
Go for it. Show me how it works. So we take a part, we put it on the table. You can see the scanner up here in the background on our nice stand. And you can see there's actually a blue light being emanated and there's a pattern projected onto it. So when we click scan, you'll see that a pattern of, of stripes or profiles is projected onto the part. And from there, it actually processes that into a point cloud containing anywhere from 30,000 up to a million points for every scan. And the nice thing that we, we also have is the ability to automatically register and align on the fly so the user doesn't have to. And that's using a lot of the geometric feature-based recognition that Geomagic's known for that we've been developing over all these years. So the net result is a user's able to actually collect all these scans and do inspections against an existing CAD file or create a new CAD file from scratch. And it fits directly into my CAD package. It does. We have plugins directly into SolidWorks as well as SpaceClaim with more coming and on the way. And we also have a complete suite of software tools like DesignX and Studio if a user wants to do that completely within those tools. And what would this run me for, Kevin, if I wanted to put this on my desktop today? So we come, this comes bundled with software. It's not just a single uh, scanner. It's a solution that we're selling. It comes for 14900 14, US dollars for the SOLIDWORKS implementation as well as the space plan implementation. And it goes up from there. And we also have packages with the inspection software as well as Studio and DesignX. So powerful, integrated, ready to use seamless into my CAD, I That's can right. begin to take something as complex as this and it could be in my SolidWorks CADs in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yep. Done it myself. It's an extremely easy tool. You heard it here, folks. So, this one is really at the heart of our entire 3D printing 2.0 journey because this is uh, one of our production grade systems that makes real thermoplastic ready to use production parts and it's possible because of our completely new state-of-the-art uh, Pro X 500 which is a next generation selective laser sintering or SLS machine that is faster, more compact in footprint, more accurate, can run as much as seven times faster than any other alternative thermoplastic manufacturing platforms and it comes with a new material with Duraform X that also increases the accuracy, the precision and the reliability and can be recycled up to 80% of its material again and again which means we can manufacture higher volume parts faster and because the yield is so much greater and the capacity is up to 40 up to 40 percent greater we're making production parts now at costs that are attractive and competitive with traditional manufacturing methods so when you think manufacturing floor robustness, when you think industrial grade, when you think about rivaling the accuracy of traditional methods and now also the cost and performance, the Pro X 500 is the first machine that bridges us from tooling and limited manufacturing into outright manufacturing floor operations in a way that is more productive, more efficient, much greener and completely of industrial grade ready for the manufacturing revolution that is happening in the here and now. We're really excited about it and we invite you to come and check out the incredible uh, parts and assemblies that by the way are designed to be uh, fully functional, long-lived and operate in extreme conditions including high temperature under hood applications, the Pro X 500. So uh, 30 years after 3D Systems Chuck Hall invented the first SLA machine, uh, today we're introducing the Pro X 950, which is our largest, fastest, greenest, and most productive uh, SLA system that again is designed to bring 3D printing squarely onto the manufacturing floor. What's the big deal about the uh, Pro X 950? The big deal is that it can do parts smaller than the eye of the needle 
all the way to parts that are larger than a real size Tiger or a full size automobile dashboard in a single piece. It could do them up to 10 times faster than any other technology on the market today. So it's an exponential improvement in capacity and in throughput, and it does it without violating the accuracy of the finest details. So if you start with details that are smaller than your naked eye can see, those details will stay true to CAD even within a part that is larger than a life-size Tiger. And you can see some of the examples here. Uh, this happens to be uh, a quick cast pattern for an engine block uh, that for the first time can be done with complete accuracy in a single piece. The Pro X 950 uses a completely new technology that we have in SLA, which is the polyray technology that allows us to begin to multiplex numbers of rays to speed up the manufacturing process and it's the greenest machine that we have because it uses material very efficiently, it generates very low waste, uh, and it gives the most incredible finishes and surfaces with an accuracy that today rivals CNC machining. It's one of the most reliable manufacturing grade systems and it's ready to be deployed on your manufacturing floor today. I give you the Pro X 950 at Euromold 2013. So there are lots of uh, direct metal uh, 3D printers on the market, but there is only one Pro X 300. And uh, let me explain what I mean, starting by uh, showing you that this is such an industrial grade or fab grade machine that I actually have to uh, stand on a little step to be able to look into it. And what's unique about this machine is that it's the only one of its kind that was designed fully to fit on the production floor. It's an industrial grade machine. Uh, it has proprietary powder layer and compacting, and it's the only one that has the ability to work with powder granular sizes between six to nine millimeters in a way that compacts the powder, fully densifies the metal, and provides outputs that are fully dense, chemically pure metal parts that rival the performance and accuracy of what you can get from investment casting and CNC machining. So superior output to anything that you know, fast machine, completely inert environment that makes sure that you get the chemical purity and density in a package that is ready to fit on your production floor today. Nothing like it exists. We're really excited about it and we hope that you join us at Euromall 2013 and begin to experience how real production grade direct metal sintering systems look like, how they operate, and how beautifully it could fit onto your manufacturing plan and your factory. We are back to uh, talking about reimagining the engineer's desktop and also the incredible seamless integration of the digital thread from design to manufacturing. And I'm here with one of my uh, German buddies here, Gerd, that's going to talk to us a little bit about a completely new uh, print driver that 3D Systems is bringing into the market uh, today on the uh, Project 5500X, but a product that we're going to embed into all of our printers in the coming months, and it really revolutionizes uh, and simplifies and enhances uh, design to printing in ways that we could only dream about. So, Gerrit, what's the big deal about this exciting new Geomagic print. So Geomagic print enables the customer to um, position the parts inside of the printer in the print volume in a way uh, that he doesn't have to think a lot about it. It's optimizing the print volume, the positioning, and uh, therefore the speed 
that it takes um, to, to print it out. It, it takes less material, it's faster, and it's a, it's a, it will be a common interface for the different printers. And therefore, if a company has several printers for um, several applications, it will be one unique interface that runs the different printers. So can you show us a little bit what's the big deal? Sure, so this is running the brand new 55 uh, X, which is a multi-material printer. So what you want to be able to do, obviously, is you import models, assign different materials, different properties, and and of course it, it should be it should be convenient for the customer. So I imported this little Formula One model, and for example, obviously you would like to have, for example, the wheels having uh, a a different look and feel. So, so we want the wheels to feel like rubber. So how long exactly. will it take me to decide that it's going to be rubber-like wheels? So you see that we have this little material assignment explorer and we can assign um, the different material conditions from just that, that little wheel. So You see, when I move over the model, it automatically shows me where I have different entities which are listed down in the Explorer. And I just have to click on the material wheel to assign a different material wow, to the different entities. Wow, just like that. Just like that. So it's, it's drag and drop, and you can see you can assign different uh, complete part um, conditions or just boundary conditions. So you could create something bouncing which is still stiff on the outside or the other way around so you can go from flexible rubber all the way to rigid materials right um, you have different opportunities to um, review your your uh, model it's like you can clip through there's embedded file fixing so if you have like a defect stl file from some different sources it will fix it as well and um, as other opportunities you have manual ways to orient your parts um, but also an auto placement, so um, it will position several parts in a way that you have the least possible um, building volume in your machine. So you uh, can optimize the print volume utilization, you can fix all the files automatically, even if you have imperfect files, and you can assign properties at the pixel and layer level. Absolutely. Perfect. So Thank I you so just, much. I was just importing a couple of files. Obviously, they all come in at the same position. If you click on auto placement and OK, it will move the files in a way that you wouldn't be able to do it yourself in a quick way. Just have to wait a second. A little bit of calculation there time. There we go. If you look from the top, you can see there's enough space in between, but it's the least space that it takes to produce the parts in a convenient way. That is really exciting. Thank you so much. So we're continuing the uh, series of uh, reimagining the engineer's desktop. And I'm here with my buddy, uh, Josh, who's going to uh, show us a few new tools that uh, really allow us to uh, mash up different inputs and begin to touch and manipulate designs in ways that engineers could only dream about. And now it's all a reality and it's becoming increasingly easier and simpler to use, right? Yeah, so what do we have here, Josh? So we have the, the Sense Scanner and uh, the Touch X haptic device. And like you said, there's this digital thread going through all the workflows we're creating now. So I can start off with the scanner. Oh, so you got my friend uh, Ray Kurzweil here. Yeah, I have our, uh, a mini Ray here. And uh, we took the cover of his newest book, uh, How to Create a Mind and made the logo using haptics. So with haptics, I can use the Touch X to touch and feel the data. So when I touch the tip of Ray's nose here, I can feel that. And the nice thing is I can also go in with my color and spray paint it, just like it was uh, actually using an airbrush. So I can choose a color, select it if I want to choose more of this color, and begin to spray it on the surface. And all of this data was collected using the new Sense Scanner. And so the new Sense scanner is right here. Typically, we use it as uh, a mobile device, but you have it on a stand. Why do you have it on a stand? Well, like you said, reimagining the engineer's desktop. So for me, if I can start with the scanner, you know, maybe even have some gesture recognition, the TouchX haptic device and the Freeform software, I can pretty much create anything, especially in the realm of complex organic 
manufacturable parts. So how long does it take you to uh, sense, you know, this uh, scanogenic dude here? <laughs> so to do something like this with the base, maybe about 30 minutes and then the cleanup, but definitely less than an hour. It depends how far I want to take it. You can spend 10 minutes or you can spend 10 hours. And before Sense and uh, Touch X, how long would it have taken somebody as expert as you to do this? Well, I've never been a particularly good portrait sculptor, so it would take me, uh, <laughs> it, w it wouldn't look as good and it would have taken me uh, a day at least. So from a day to uh, 30 minutes to an hour as we reimagine the engineer's desktop right here at Euromall 2013. Yeah, it's a really Thank exciting you. time. So I want to talk to you about another big uh, building block in our 3D printing 2.0, which is what I call cloud sourcing and cloud manufacturing. So we used to have uh, onshoring and offshoring and outsourcing, and I want to talk to you about cloud sourcing using our global network of quick parts services. Uh, quick parts services is operated with the latest 3D printing advanced manufacturing and traditional methods to supply you with all of your design to manufacturing needs and to multiplex your own internal capabilities every time when you need to begin to uh, or desire to have some uh, quick turn, short run, rail manufacturing uh, applications uh, including very high-end applications like this Rolls-Royce engine which by the way was completely manufactured you know at our quick parts facility using our latest SLA and SLS technology and shows you complete functionality. We can do things like uh, completely ready to use pre-manufactured uh, bumpers and car parts, steering wheels, and all of it is available worldwide through the largest network of hundreds of the latest 3D printers uh, and all of the upstream and downstream finishing and traditional advanced manufacturing solutions. It's live as of this morning on 3dsystems.com, so you can get on 3dsystems.com, click on quick parts and get your uh, instant quote in any European language that you want. It's the largest and only global network and it can serve all your needs in the here and now. Uh, and we would really invite you to uh, check out Quick Parts as your natural extension to find all of your uh, multiplexing capabilities and capacity in the cloud. 3dsystems.com slash Quick Parts. Come and get your instant quote today and come visit us here to realize the full power and potential of cloud sourcing and 3D printing with 3D systems. So, uh, most of you who've been following 3D uh, systems know that uh, we're really passionate about the fusion of uh, our technology with art, with music, with science, with education, uh, with pottery, with mathematics, and we think that a lot of amazing things happen at the interface uh, between fields and between disciplines. Like, you know, what happens when uh, 3D printing and freedom of creation meets music. Uh, and so you know that for quite some time we've been uh, promoting these incredible uh, guitars that uh, Olaf Diggle is, is uh, collaborating with us on. And I actually saw Olaf in Singapore uh, about less than two months ago and I challenged him because I've been really dreaming about uh, a 3D printed drum set and a 3D printed keyboard and so I challenged my friend Olaf in Singapore uh, and he came through and so from the guy that made all these amazing uh, 3D printed guitars that are available on Cubify.com and it's the only place where they're available I'm giving you today the first ever fully printed drum set and keyboard and uh, because I love it so much I want to talk less and enjoy it more so hit it buddy You've seen it first here, Euromall 2013, the first ever fully printed drum set.
Okay, so we're here at uh, the second uh, exhibit that we have at uh, Euromall 2013, which is Cubify. Cubify, remember, is our consumer destination where we want you to come and experience all the made-for-me 3D printing lifestyle, and, it and that's the destination to find uh, the Cube 3D printer, the only safe for home use and for kids affordable 3D printer that is now in hundreds of uh, Staples and Office Depot uh, stores for the holidays. That's the place to find you know, our incredible prosumer CubeX family of products. And as of the last few weeks, if you uh, come with me, uh, we now have our very first uh, digital photography device, the Sense, that we sell for $399. Uh, and as you remember, smaller than a tablet, lighter than a cell phone and can scan you faster than a commercial break and turn you into a replica of yourself with the question of how scanogenic are you? So let's find out how scanogenic I am here at Euromall today dressed in my uh, black 3D systems uniform. So, uh, you know, let's see what's happening here. I'm just going to uh, continue to talk, which is not gonna make you happy, but go ahead and scan me. So the amazing thing about uh, the Sense is that it comes fully integrated with all of the editing tools that take you directly from physical photography into editing and solidifying uh, and, and using familiar tweaking and editing tools that uh, would be intuitive and simple and you never have to leave the environment. So everything that you need to take your physical photograph in 3D and turn it into a printable is right here uh, and it's fully integrated. So I give you the sense and let's find out how scanogenic I am. There you go. Not too bad. Now you can solidify me if you want. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll see if we can... Uh, solidify. Yeah. And uh, very quickly, I can turn this into a selfie of myself that I can print now in full color real plastic on the Project 4500. There you go. Filled the hole in my head. I love it.